Are AI image generators reinforcing harmful gender stereotypes? Let's dive in, fast. Here's the deal. When I ask most AI image tools to show a leader or a scientist, I still see men pop up way more than women. Flip it, ask for a nurse or assistant, and suddenly it's almost always women. That's not a glitch, that's real-world bias bleeding straight into the tech. Studies like UNESCO's and the Gender Shades Project prove it. If you're a woman, especially with darker skin, AI tools often misrepresent you or just get it plain wrong. So why does this matter? Well, images shape how we see the world. If AI keeps repeating the same old biases, it's not just unfair. It's teaching the next generation who should lead or should support. Hiring tools, school resources, even legal evidence, they all risk amplifying these stereotypes if we don't fix this. So, what's big tech doing? OpenAI, Google, Meta, they're all watermarking AI-generated content now and openly admitting their limits. Behind the scenes, research teams are hard at work. Take stable diffusion newer versions like MoESD, actually check their own text descriptions mid-process, then adjust image generation for better gender balance and others are using something called reinforcement learning with AI feedback. Basically, letting AIs teach themselves to avoid bias without losing image quality. But it's not just up to companies. The EU's AI Act is coming in hot. By August 2025, it'll force transparency bias testing and ban dodgy biometric profiling for all major AI models. In the US, President Biden's AI Bill of Rights and voluntary tech agreements mean bias audits and watermarking are becoming standard. And in Canada, the IDA law is still cooking, but it'll require high-risk AI models to register and show their impact too. Let's see it in action. If I prompt CEO of a tech company, older models mostly show men in suits. But with recent updates and bias mitigation, I start seeing women, more ethnic diversity and a broader range of images. If I add diverse and representative to my prompt, many engines now quietly add a diversity filter behind the scenes. Is it perfect? Not even close. Sometimes, the system overcorrects or misses the point entirely. But the fix isn't magic. It's about better training data, smarter AI architectures, more transparency, human feedback at every step, and yes, outside watchdogs like the Algorithmic Justice League. AI can reflect society, or shape it. So, demand fairness. Ask for bias-mitigated models, support smart regulations like the EU's AI Act and educate yourself, follow NGOs like the AJL. Let's build a future where AI helps create equality, not just mirror old stereotypes. Like and share if you care.